also uh, I think anybody here is welcome to join. Notice I say the social part of it louder because I am not a fisherman. And the fishermen go out with a rented boat if you're interested in that. But that's about it. See most of you on Monday. Thank you. Thank you. You're welcome. Good afternoon. Uh, I'm Larry Fox, representing the Veterans and uh, Friends Group today. Uh, just want to let everybody know uh, we are going to have a free concert. I emphasize the word free. That will be August 18th in this clubhouse right here at 7 p.m. Uh, we will have uh, some uh, turkey shoots which are our raffles to get around the uh, laws. And uh, it will be free admission, like I said, but as always, donations are uh, more than welcome. Thank you. Just to, to make mention, uh, it's Bob Kulik that's gonna be performing, right. former member of The Happenings, and again, free concert. Donations welcome, and we'll get the veterans group back up and, and running again after this small playbook. Thank you, thanks, Thank Matt. You. Hi, Pat Bono. I have two things to talk about today. I have Holiday City Fishing and Social Club running our first bus trip since COVID, going to resorts on July 20th. The bus will leave Clubhouse One. Uh, at 1 p.m. and returns around 9 p.m. The cost is $35 per person and you get $20 slot playing back back. If you're interested, I'm selling tickets in the back today or you can call me, I can give you my phone number. If you wanna come stop by, I'll give you my phone number if you're not sure today and if you wanna check with a friend, that's fine. My second thing is Holiday City Berkeley Dance Committee. We wanna get started again. Unfortunately, between COVID and age, we have worked. We do need volunteers to come on to the committee and hopefully some with a little beautiful spirit that can uh, help us set up, break down, prepare, schedule, and have fun. So if you're interested in that, I'm just going to give you my phone number. You can contact me so we can get together and have a meeting. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Good afternoon, everyone. I just want to let you know that we will be coming back. Our bongo is starting again September 21st. It'll be on a Tuesday from 1 to 3.30, every one month of a Tuesday. One Tuesday every month, sorry, the third month. Thank you very much. Are you on, are you on the schedule already? Yes, I am. Great. Thank you very much. Susan, you ready to please? The schedule, the future schedule for the rides that we are trying to keep going for Thursday of the month um, is in the paper. Uh, the only sign-up sheet I have right now is Fansbury Park. I still have a couple of seats on the bus for July 22nd. I am also in the back selling seats for the trip December the 9th to Longwood Gardens. Uh, the fee is 125, covers the bus trip. Admission to Longwood Gardens and lunch at the Joseph Inn. We're in. We're taking deposits and then the balance you can pay off. If you have a problem, come and see me in the back and we can work out a, a schedule for the payments. Um, other than that, that's it. Thank you. Thanks, Luke.
director's reports. Mario, you're a director. I don't know if I have to use the microphone because I do have. Yes. 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 Can anybody hear me? No. no. Okay. What I'm about to say, I'm going to try to keep it as short as possible and make my statement. The president gave me a few extra minutes to let you know what I know, what I'm doing for you with the complaints. But before I say anything as far as the complaints are concerned, I want you to know that the word complaint is an old word. It started many thousands of years ago. The first complaint that was ever recorded, God, when God put man on earth, and he told him, have fun, it's all yours, it's for the liking. And says, I'll, he says, I'll see you in six months. So six months went by, and he saw a man, he says, how you doing? He says, fine, but I got nobody to talk to. No problem. He created woman, beautiful lady. You got somebody to talk to now? Have fun, I'll see you in six months. Six months went by, he says, how you doing? He says, I have a question, man. I don't understand. What's a headache? <laughs> that was the first complaint. Now, getting back to the grass, all the complaints the grass you have it. I will promise you that I will answer every one as I possibly can. But some are not really what you call complaints. They're nuisance things that I gotta handle, but I do take care of it. I promise you that I will take care of all the complaints, but you gotta do your part. You gotta take these ornaments away from the a grass cutter. You gotta get these things that are solar lights out of the way so they don't bang them around. You gotta do your part. Mario will do his part, and the grass cutter will do his part. And that's the only way we can solve the problem. Now we did have a meeting with the directors. We changed them from four days to five days, and we're hoping that the cutting will be sooner. I see a guy's man's head is shaking, and I don't know why he's shaking his head. We're doing the best we can. If you get everything out of the way, the grass cutters will do their job, but give him a chance. He's the new kid on the block. And he's gonna do it, he's eventually gonna do a good job. You gotta remember, we're saving you a lot of money. But give him a chance. Give him a chance. He, that's the problem. That's the problem. You don't want to give nobody a chance. You just want to complain. That's not fair. Sir, sir, sir. I want to thank you for all being here. Thank you very much.
quality of the tree or the life expectancy of the trees that were planted by Carbonanian have a 45 year expectancy and we've exceeded that. So that's why last year was a little tough. This year I'm happy to say that we're under budget right now and we're hopefully, but our fingers crossed, we won't have to spend too much more money. I'd like to also say right now that the reason that Mr. Lodori and Skip are both here to answer any questions that anybody has regarding new business or anything that they feel that the board can't fully explain to them. So, on that note, we're going to go to own business. John. Absolutely. Then I'm going to let Skip, he skips our account. And just so you know, he was appointed by the court to be the accountant for Holiday City. So I'm going to let Skip speak. Good afternoon, everyone. Uh, my name is Gerwin Bauer. Everybody calls me Skip, to make it easy. I'm a partner with Mole, Elliott, Bauer, and Gas. And I've been engaged as the partner that has been assigned to your account. I have over 30 years of experience with homeowner associations. We handle over 100 associations every year. Now to explain the primary purpose of the work I do is the audit, and it's really to look out for the financial interests of you, the membership. That's what I'm hiring for. We were appointed by the court, as just mentioned, in 2008. And in 2008, when I started here, you have an operating deficit of $22,000, and you had zero dollars remaining in your replacement fund in 2008. So you had nothing left. And at this point in time, at the end of 2020, your operating fund has $219,000 in it, and your replacement fund has $670,000 as of December of 2020. Really what a, a financial audit is, is when a CPA scrutinizes the association's over, uh, financial, overall financial health. This includes a deep dive into the association's financial records, their verified provided data. The CPA will request confirmations from the association's attorney, insurance, bank, and other various receivables and homeowners' liabilities if needed upon further review during the audit process. We also consult with the association's creditors or debtors to reconcile any amounts owed by the association as at the end of the year. We also go as far as we read all the association board minutes, contracts, we will speak to contractors and ensure that there are no inconsistencies what's reflected in the financial records and their own account. An audit also requires the review of financial forecasts, financial statements, internal controls, and laws of compliance. The annual audit goes a long way to keep the board and the management of the association honest. Theft, fraud, or simple fund mismanagement can happen with any association. And that's what we're here to look out for. And I can say, since I've started here, we've found no theft, fraud, or simple fund mismanagement in our determination. They did an excellent job over the past year since I began here in 2008. And really, the audit helps keep the board members accountable. This is especially true for the association's manager and treasurer, who usually have direct asset as access to the association's funds. It also helps ensure the association members that there's an internal control in place to keep the board in line and everything working properly. And to really walk through the year-end audit that was completed in March of 2021, I'm just going to go over the highlights. We did end the year in the operating fund with a deficiency of 
approximately $105,000. So we did take the operating surplus from 325 to 219,000 this year. The primary reason for this deficiency was the tree work that was done. We had a lot of storms and there was a tremendous amount of tree damage that had to be taken care of. So we did exceed the tree line expense line item by $152,000. So that's why we did see the deficiency last year. And as was just mentioned, this year's budget, the tree line were under budget. So hopefully that's behind us and the tree line item will not be such a problem going forward. And what are your financial self, you know, we look at the strengths of the association and how you, you know, your excess operating fund, I said it was at 220,000 even after the deficiency this past year. And the replacement fund is at 670,000. Your reserve fund study was last updated in 2015, and this is currently being updated in 2021. Now what the reserve fund study is, it's done by an independent engineer, looks at all the common elements in the association. Anything that needs to be replaced, like parts of this clubhouse, the pools, the parking lots, projects over the next 30 years when these items should be replaced based on their mathematical, their, their textbooks that they use. And it comes up with what we have to collect annually to meet these future needs. And I have to mention what has been a very good strength in the association is that we've, over, we've put more money into the replacement fund than the minimum contribution that was called for in the engineering study. So we're doing excellent there. And I believe that's why really become so strong in your financial and over the past, since 2008. One of the weaknesses, but it has been improving in the past five years, is we still have a weakness in the accounts receivable. There are still 74 units that have accounts balances over $1,000, and these 74 units total $212,000. This is almost the entire receivable of the association, and it's 74 units that are making up this problem for the association. Now, as I said, this improves every year in the past few years. This year it did improve by about $12,000. I want to touch something else. I went back for the past three years. Now, granted, this year isn't complete yet, the 2001 audit, but I did look at the insurance recovery and the expenses that were paid out <coughs> in the clubhouse. I do estimate at this point in time that out-of-pocket expenses that the insurance won't cover regarding this clubhouse will be in the range of $75,000 to $100,000 when all said and done. But what is good about that, we can charge that to the replacement fund because the replacement fund was actually collecting hundreds of thousands of dollars for the replacement for all these items. So we can charge this 7500000 dollars or replacement fund items to the replacement fund for remaining costs of this improvements to this clubhouse. And really, in the past few years, I mean, another question is often, how are you doing compared to your sister communities? I mean, I, I think you're, you're doing wonderful. I mean, if you just look around at the clubhouse and the improvements to your pools, and this, I mean, you're doing an amazing job here. I, I think the place looks great. Really, that's really, really everything that I need to cover initially until there's any questions. <coughs> Thank you, Skip. Um, and I just want to add something to that. Uh, we just got news this week that uh, the insurance company is replacing $320,000 for getting that back. We've needed it, and it's coming. Um, you have, I'd like to go to. Uh, is that pertaining the question to Paul? To skip, to skip. To skip, go ahead. Well, I can wait. All right, go ahead. Hey, John, they got to go to the microphone to answer. Understood, John, thank you. But it's not right now, they're not going to speak now. That's right. All right, I'd like to, is there any more old business at this point? Any more old business? Uh, I think I'm going to wait to 
everybody has questions, they can ask you directly, okay? Well, we'll wait for that for a little bit. John, that Michael. What I, what I was talking Mike. about last night. Michael, come up here. Michael, excuse me. Mike, come in, announce yourself, and sign in. That's all right. Go ahead. Last month, Michael Allegri, Michael Allegri, candidate for the Board of Directors. 959 Jamaica. 959 Jamaica. I had the pleasure to meet with Paul, and I've spoken with Skip briefly. Okay. Old business now. This is not old business. I can speak later. Last month, I inquired about how many candidate seats are open for election this coming year. Terry said two. In the bulletin, it says two. I have a difference of opinion backed up by the laws that say, and I'll give you the dates if you need them. Well, this is all good. This is all, I mean, it's, it's last year. Go ahead. Okay. All right. I thought anything we spoke of last month would be old. All right. So, according to the law, if a president doesn't run for election, he cannot be extended term. Prohibited is the word used. Prohibited. You cannot be. So in 2020, there was no election. There should have been an election, but there was no election. Okay, and do up for the re-election would have been John. Barbara and Mario. Correct. Okay. Mario, Mario. Uh, not Mario, I mean uh, Henry. Henry. I'm David. sorry, Henry. That's correct. Okay. So uh, we didn't have the election. John got an extended term. Barbara got an extended term. And one of the new directors was point, appointed for um, to be a director, I guess, by the rest of the board. Okay. All right, uh, to take Henry's spot because he resigned like two months before his term was up. Okay, so the, the new laws that are um, required to be followed say no extended appointments. Uh, you can't be extended as a president. Barbara cannot be extended as a director or a treasurer or whatever she was at that time. I don't know, remember what she was. Okay. And then the appointments no longer are they appointed for a term. Whoever was appointed for Henry's spot, okay, he that term was up in two months, so now they got an extension of term. That's why they're here, whoever. Okay, so that leads that. So my contention is that there's six seats open. The two, Terry. And Mario were up for election. The two with extension, extended terms prohibited John and Barbara. The two directors appointed Mary and Joe. That makes six. Okay, I do have an issue with the seventh, but I'm fine with six. Okay, uh, the seventh is, is uh, Beverly, who was also appointed. No. No, Beverly was not appointed. Beverly was voted in. Okay. What happened back in 2017? Okay, this is not the story. Though. One person left. Beverly had <coughs> been voted on. She did not win the election. Correct. But back then, when Correct. anybody, she was the only other person who was a, was was ran for that election. So when John Forsythe left, Beverly then took his place. And that's that an appointment. In the Bible. Right. That's an appointment. Right. right. But the old Bible says that anybody that's appointed has to be, um, before the share owners get two thirds of the quorum vote. The old bylaws, the new bylaws say you can appoint Beverly. Okay, right? Wrong. After, was it that after May of, of 2020? Correct. I might have been talking about that. Okay, because you, the problem, the problem 
mean is this. You appointed Beverly. The, she wasn't appointed. Well, she, she ran for election. She lost. She lost. She lost. She lost. Uh, right. She, excuse me. She lost the election. Right. John Forsyth was Quit. elected. Yes. And um, who else came in with Bob? They, Barbara Benson. Right. When, when John Forsyth left in February, he was he, he ran, he stayed on in January and February, he left. Once he left, the person who got the next amount of votes was Roy okay. and that was Bell. Okay, so let me just say this. The, the amendment that you used to appoint Beverly was amended in 2019, November 2019, Paul amended, it was passed. Okay, it, it passed. But Paul did not file it until April 1st this year. Meaning, what the law says, there is no amendment until it's filed. Okay, so that's, I'm, I'm fine with that. I don't have a problem with that. But what I'm saying is, it still was done wrong. It wasn't followed. Okay, you have the scope of authority, and it's always outside the scope of authority that you guys act. And I have many, many, many instances I don't want to get into it now. What I want to get into now is the qualification, following the laws. Paul, you're here right now, following the laws on how many seats are open. According to the May 2020, um, another candidate submitted a resume. I submitted a resume to run in that 2020 election. We were both denied illegally. We should have both been, wait a minute, we should have both been accepted, there should have been an election, and besides it, let's just say we didn't run, there still should have been an election. Because for every seat open, there should be a blank ballot. There will never be an appointment again, unless somebody dies, God forbid, and you need to fill the vacancy, but they must run for election the following year. They don't get three-year terms or two-year terms. They get until the next election, <coughs> within a year, Okay, and these are, I, I sent it to you several times. I sent it to John. I sent it to Paul, who is the lawyer. Inquiring about this, I get zero answers, zero acknowledgments. I sent Paul, the lawyer, probably three emails, never responded to anything. Okay, I sent you an email. I copied, as a matter of fact, last Monday, I filed a written complaint to the directors showing those laws and explaining those laws. None of you have contacted me. Tell the share owners what, what you're going to do and what are the rules for this upcoming election. How many seats? Thank you. So I didn't type your email address in. I just hit reply, and then I re responded to you. In writing, you didn't get one last Monday that I dropped in this Dropbox? That's a joke. My name is Dawn Bennett, and I'm wondering how many seats are up for this election. At this point, Michael makes a point, and I'm going to tell you why. Okay. Last year, 2020, I understand that we didn't hold a specific election. We had the COVID, and that's not an excuse. No, it's not. 
but we had one person working in the office. It was impossible physically for her to get balance out to everybody and continue to do whatever work was necessary. necessary. <laughs> Unfortunate as it was, we were very limited. Some of our workforce, the office people, left, went to collect unemployment, and it left our office manager alone to handle the daily workings every day. In addition to that, and I'm gonna take the, the heat for that, I said, at this point, I don't see how we can have a physical election, and there was one seat at that point open, and that's when Mary got appointed. It's, it's confusing, and I understand that. The point being, he does make a valid point. There's no argument about no. that. There isn't. No, 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 no I haven't. So how do, we, how do we correct it from here? Here's the problem. The original bylaws called for three seats, two seats, and two seats. If you get an election that you need to put in more than a majority, and those, let's say four people are running together, hypothetically, they're running together as a unit. Right. Uh, What's to say that they don't form some sort of consortium because they have to get together? Oh, 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 no, oh, oh, no, oh, no, no, oh, no, 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 that's 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 four people can't run. No, 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 not that four people can't run, but how many seats that are available each year? Why are they in the bylaws? You want to come up, sit down, and speak when it comes time to the mic. But again, he has an answer. What's our lawyer? The lawyer. Can you let him answer, please? Can you answer for the lawyer, please? You have more knowledge, I'm sure, of the bylaws, and you can give us the correct information. Well, it's, it's my understanding that there's going to be two positions over there. Is, your, is that right with the Bible, sir? You are the lawyer. Is that how you're reading them as a law officer? A lawyer? Is that how you're seeing it? Well, I don't actually. Mr. Allegra just said something that I wasn't aware of. Uh, can you please find that out for us and get back to yeah. us on that? And, and Mike, maybe I can ask you this. You said that you and someone else had Resume. Yeah. Who was the other person? For 2020. Yeah, who was the other person? Laura. Who was the other person that submitted a resume? I did, and I'm going to be giving you one right now. Okay. You submitted one prior? Yes. And I was told by John that other people. Listen, if everybody's speaking. I was told by John that other people.
raised up New Jersey to say that they can follow the law. Well, no, I do want to stop you on that. The state of New Jersey doesn't mandate that tenants in a community association can vote. You could all decide if you wanted to do that, but the governing documents in this community don't permit tenants to vote. I mean, you could change it, and that's what the state is saying. But I think you're misreading the law with respect to tenants because tenants don't have that right here. I know they don't have it here in this community. Yes. And I'm just wondering if the law of the state of New Jersey would cover it. And another issue while I'm here, I just want to bring it up. It's unrelated. Why are these meetings at 1 o'clock in the afternoon when there are so many people that work here? It's almost like you don't want them to come to the meeting. Laura, Laura, we've had meetings in the evening. We've tried. Over the years, we have tried to have meetings at 7 p.m. Do you understand why people are voting against you? More questions have been asked, and we didn't get an answer to any of them. Laura, 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 would you like an answer, or would you just like to yell at me? I don't want to yell at you. Okay, well then, you ask a question, I answer a question. Then I ask a question, you answer. We don't yell at each other. There's no reason for that. Okay, I will not yell at you. But it is very unfair to people that work. We've had meetings in the evening. We've tried it. We've always tried to have meetings. We said, we started out with, okay, we'll have two meetings. Let's see what happens. Nobody comes. We tried three meetings in the evening. Nobody came. We could never get a quorum. So people say, well, that's not good. I can't make it on a Wednesday evening at 7 p.m. I can't make it on a Wednesday afternoon at 1 p.m. So if we try to have a meeting, if nobody comes, then we go back to having meetings in the afternoon where we always get a quorum. Or we try to get a quorum anyway. That's number one. Number two. Could I interrupt you? Because I feel like I'm just getting excuses. Could I have the attorney clarify this New Jersey state law? Yes. Yes. Okay. Thank you. 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 Thank
send something to vote, that's it. You cannot vote, period. No, yeah, but you can always vote. You, US, you people own the place. So if you wanted to change, if there was a, a group of people that thought it was a good idea to have the tenants vote as opposed to the owners, and the owners said, we would like the board to consider that amending the governing documents, either your bylaws or your declaration of covenants and restrictions. You have a provision, you have provisions to amend. So uh, whatever you want to do, whatever the collective view wants to do, you can do. I, I, I think that'd be kind of unusual. I don't think too many owners would want to surrender that right. I just have a question for you. Do you, are you in favor of that? In this community, you have a record near you, you know that. I know that, and I want to thank you for your help. But that's not the reason. I'm asking you, would you be comfortable if it would be to have records? That isn't what I want. It's what the collective wants. Well, if it's a collective, I'm, I'm going to put it out to everybody. Is everybody here interested in having records? No. Thank you. Yeah, you're right. Sorry. Did you Man, I'm sorry. Did you but that's right. I think what John was asking was about people renting and Laura was asking about people for tenants voting. Correct. Yes. Yeah, so I think there are two different right. things. Right. So I'm for the tenants voting. If they live in the tenant business unit, they're going to get it. No, that, that's, that's fine. I mean, that's something that you can That's your opinion. Yeah. 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 Uh, well, I, I, I'm going to ask you to My name is Ninetta Nappi. I'm a 71 show at Richard and Sam. Um, and I'm curious about to you know about the increase in our association fee of $60. And it was quite a bit of money in one year. Uh, especially when we learn right now that we have 75,000 insurance is not paid when the pay go out of the place of the insurance and they are accounts that it is. I don't know. I think that's a lot of money in one year. Can you explain that? Um, unfortunately, when we when we redid this building and and uh, because of the fire. Uh, and because we had to redo this whole building, we had to have all of the new codes. Every single code that is out there for buildings now, we had to come up to in this in this building. Well, unfortunately, because we have them in this building, we had to do all new updates into Clubhouse One, the office. So we have, we now have a sprinkler system in here. We never had that. So if there's a fire in here, the sprinklers are going to go on. That's going to take care of everything. Well, we had to put a sprinkler system in the office, in the basement, and, and an all new fire alarm system, and all new fire alarm system in Clubhouse One. That came up to approximately, I, 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 I'm, going to say this off the top of my head, but don't go away with it. It's over $87,000 just to, to do those two things. We are also coming up to ADA compliance. Um, we've, we've had somebody come in and, and they asked for a special ladder to go into the pool. We looked at that special ladder and realized that that's not the best situation. So we are now looking at um, uh, their uh, uh, lifts for the pool. There's two different kinds of lifts. We're, we're kind of looking into that. And we also, this year, both pools are going to have to be relined. That has to go out for bid. We have to do that. The, the pools are at their, the end right now of, of what we have to do. 
Uh, we made some minor repairs, but at the end of this at the end of this year, we're going to have to have that done. So we're looking at bids for that. So that that's why we looked at what how are we going to keep solvent here. So those are, those are capital improvements, but we still have to be solvent. We can't let our capital money keep going down. We can't keep using it and not replacing it. So the hard, the hardest thing we have to do, the hardest thing anybody here wants to do, because we all pay the same money, is raise, raise our maintenance. But we, we had to do that this year, just knowing what we had coming in front of us. I just want to make a little addition to that. Because of COVID, the requirements that were made upon us were having, a, we had to put it into the budget. And that's one of the reasons also that the increase came. There was uh, positions, that, new positions that would have to be filled, monitors, people to take testing, uh, wiping down everything that somebody might use in the event of use of the facilities again. So that was entered into the budget, and that's also a reason why the increase. So can we hope that next year we don't have another increase? Depending on who it is. I'm sorry? Depends on who it is. Uh, 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 I see it again. No, I mean, it's, it's kind of funny. But in, in, in all reality, with the new plus of money that came from insurance, I would make the prediction that pretty much we're pretty stable right now. That there was one other increase. It was quite significant because of what happened here. Your insurance premiums really have gone up drastically going forward. You got to remember that they paid out, I don't know, a million or whatever they paid out here. And so they're, they're going to try to recoup this by increasing the premiums. And then we've, already, we've already seen a drastic increase even in 2020. And, and one other thing. Going along that note, um, we we had the, everything that happened, the accident here that day, we happened to have on film. They already uh, the there's already been some uh, court proceedings, and uh, if and we think that they are going to the, uh, the chemical company loses their case and we hope they will, we can then go in and file a civil suit to get some of that money. So, but, but that's down the road. We're not saying that's not gonna happen tomorrow, next year, it might, you know, that might take a couple of years to happen. But every, you know, we, we go after, we try to do the best we can with the money. Thank <laughs> you. 
somebody asked a question about how many seats. I would think we'll go back as a board and make the commitment to open up as many seats as we can. What we feel we think is right and what you think is right. By next meeting, we will give you, by the next meeting, we will give you how many positions we feel would be open. We have the time, we have plenty of time to make the vote. You'll have plenty of time to vote. But I would think at this point, let us sit down and discuss it. All right, that's all I'm asking. Okay. My name is Joe Fremento. I live on the Roger Stock Street. Uh, first, I'd like to thank you for a great report, um, especially touching based on the replacement one. I'm a former board president in Mercer County, former uh, finance committee member, and also ran the social club of a homeowners association. So I'm very familiar with what goes on back here and what's in front of me. It's a very difficult job. Um, I have a lot of respect for board members. Like I just said, I was one. And it takes me. My first question is, why is a balance sheet not included in the monthly report or handout in the back? You have a PNL. Personally, I like to see a balance sheet. I, I can answer that. Okay. Our former treasurer was very familiar with Excel, and he would sit and key in all the numbers for the balance sheet, mm -hmm. and that appeared in the paper. However, the newspaper deadline is one month before the paper comes to print, before it comes to our doorstep. So those figures were not accurate. There was a whole month of receivables to have them in and thing, accounts payable. So those numbers were not accurate. And members of the uh, residents of this community questioned that sheet all the time. And other than saying the sheet was prepared way before it appeared in the paper and it's not accurate. Okay. We decided that it would be in our best interest and also your best interest to just have a profit and loss statement. That's current as it can be. In no disrespect, I disagree with you. Okay. As a former board president, my residents were given a PL and a balance sheet every month for six years that I was on board president. I think we need one. I want one. I want to see what the money is and where it's going. Is it in CDs? Is it in money markets? Is it in reserve? I'd like to see that. As a homeowner, I want to see it. Skip, can you help them? And certainly, you can come in. If you want to see the audit, you can okay. see that as well. You can come in, request. I would just, it's for my knowledge, okay? Like I said, I'm very familiar with it. I like to see it. Absolutely. Put call up, tell them one of us will always be in the room. Okay. It's, it's not a necessary thing, you know, right now, but at some point in time, I'm But absolutely, we. Okay, thank you. I do have a question based on the. Last, this last paper, yeah. the question that states off your minutes, I'm assuming it's off your minutes, the question why the dues went up, there is no snow removal. The answer is the dues went up due to the fact that last year's pools were opened and then had to be closed as codes from the state things had changed. As a former member, pool openings and closings are in the budget. Yeah. But you have to understand, as a, I don't, I agree with you. As a dumb Italian who reads this, okay, right. it don't tells me that. my dues went up five dollars a month, which I do understand. I used to pay close to three hundred a month. Okay, I understand dues, but you read this paragraph, and it clearly states the dues went up because of a pool. What paper was that? It's the last Berkeley. It's. Yeah. The last one. 
this is the new one. Okay. Yeah. What happened was we always we all of our meetings are taped. Last month, this is new. Everything in here was new. The whole sound system is new. Somehow, we there was we. In fact, we had to have the sound people in here yesterday. They came in and they they went through the whole sound system. There was something off. I think Beverly did. Uh, she, everything came. I don't know that. And the pools. That that's not the reason why the maintenance. Yeah, but, but it was. And I'm I'm. I'm, I'm just bringing it to your attention. Right. That if people get angry at boards, and they do, I got people got angry at me. Yes. And a question it's came up like this. Right. That cause anger. Here's what happened. A question came up last month about if the, the pools were not open last year. I and understand they, that. But actually, they said, so the pool budget, there should have been no money taken out of the pool budget. Absolutely. But if the pools weren't open, there should have been. We did open our pools. We opened our pools. We started them. We did everything. We did the chemicals. We did the setup. We did the whole business. And then we got shut down. So our pools were open. We did use we did use a, a budget for our pools last year. I understand that, and I right. I, I respect that. But, but I'm just I'm re, I want to end it here. I understand when you read something like this that my dues went up sixty dollars because of pool. Right. That was not the reason. What very I just explained to you. Very incorrect reporting. Right. What I did, what I just explained to you was absolutely the reason, and, 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 and we have, we have to do, we okay. have to do that, and we have to do more. That's fine. So that's also, at this time, I'd like to announce my candidacy for the board. Good afternoon. I'd like to introduce myself. myself. My name is Michael Pomponio, Central A Street. Um, to piggyback Joe about that report, you said it couldn't make it in the papers in time? It can't be accurate. Okay, but. Because it's a month behind. That's, you're, you're fine with that, but you know, if we had an updated website that had clickable links, why couldn't it be put in there and it's right then and there in your time? Our website looks like a newspaper. It's a good suggestion. It's run like a newspaper. That's, that's exactly But there's nothing to it. There's no information, really. There's nothing to click. There's nothing to find out. If we went into the day and age that we're in now, complaint forms can be clickable links. They can be submitted through there for people that can't get out of their house. OK? We need to change things around here. I have, I have a question about the cable, and I know that's a sore site. No, no, not about the fees and nothing about that, but the cable that we have here, it's for us shareholders, correct? The TVs, Wi Fi. The, the you're, wifi asking, you're asking about the Wi Fi. I'm asking about the cable, the internet, the Wi Fi. That is paid by the shareholders, correct? Right. It is for the shareholders, correct? And we have, we, this, this no, building. I'm asking a question is it for the shareholders? Yes. Okay, so wait, I'm not finished yet. Um, why, in this day and age of technology, again, you revamped everything, correct? You said that last time. Everything was revamped. How come, this building. Okay. How come there is no dedicated Wi-Fi line for anybody to connect their devices to anywhere? Um, I could go to Lowe's, walk in Lowe's, and I get right on your Wi-Fi. I called up about this because it does say Holiday City Wi-Fi. But it, it was a password, and they said it's only for the workers. That's what they told me to do. So I, I don't listen. So I what, what, what is what is the the Wi-Fi? Who is it for? Hold on. We had we we updated the Wi-Fi in this building. When the building last before the fire, we had all the cameras, everything were wired, were hardwired. We came in. Once this building is all new, with the, there's all new, we, we updated the Wi-Fi here, and we put in all new um, cameras.
cameras that are wireless cameras, they're all, everything's run off of the Wi-Fi. Um, as we're doing, and I think, I don't know if we brought the, uh, the sheets in, I put, made a list of all, where all the cameras are because it was a question of how many cameras we had. But that's not my question. Right. And now, we're, as we go along, we're gonna, up, we're gonna upgrade. Yeah, I never had a problem getting up, but I don't. I don't. Give us a password. None of us. I have don't a have a password. password. I don't. I don't. I have. I don't. Every time you try to get on the holiday city, you want to ask for a password. Username and password. Excuse me. So you up there in this building, and there's no Wi-Fi here. So that's my question. How could you upgrade a whole system in today's day and age? I guess we have to. I, I guess we're going to have to do something with the phone, with the company, and. and there could just be a dedicated line so people can get on the Wi-Fi. It does, right? But here's my question, though. I called, I called up about it, and they said it's only for us employees. They don't give out the password. That was my okay. I I also want to let everybody know that I am campaigning going to run for the board member spirit.
that you're going to put spin on, on uh, how many candidates. The law is saying what the law is saying. You're going to follow it, and they agree with everything that I have. Michael, we, we send out, okay. the, paper, the paper goes out 12 months. Every single month is in the paper. And this law says one calendar posted for the whole year. Every, so you want to every every meeting. Meeting. Not that I want We have to send this out. Were you at the last meeting? Yes, I did. Did you receive an agenda sheet at that meeting? Yes, I did. On the agenda sheet for every meeting, yes. it says the next shareholders meeting will be held blah, 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 at 1 p.m. at Clubhouse 2 on every agenda sheet. Okay. Okay, so that so means you know, everybody you know, else, everybody else in this community, 3,000 or 5,000 people, okay, 5,000 people don't get notified because they didn't even come to the meeting in the first meeting. That's not the way it is. But it comes everybody must be notified. If you can't notify them, people you don't, don't come, come to the meeting, don't care when the meetings are, they're not going to come. The state, the state law the says country. if you notify them, more will come. If you want to name pick, I want to nitpick one with you, Barbara. Every every month for the last two years, there has been account balance. This is our checking account balance. This is our uh, and, uh, payroll balance. This is our uh, capital improvement balance. At the end of the month, I've been tracking the finances. Okay. Now, last month, you did not put the balances. I don't know about this month, because I didn't see this month. The so May balance, the May, in the May paper, the balance was not in there. It was in there in April, it was in June, and it was in July. May, somehow it got missed and didn't get put in the paper. Okay, is, is it in this paper? Yes, now? it's in July so and it's have, in June. Okay, because I didn't get to see, no, it's not in the, the, the June. In the June, it was in there. I don't think it's in the research. It's part. in the June paper, it's in April, June, and okay. July. If it's in there, I then you show me. Okay, so now, I am uh, handing, in, handing in my resume. The reason I'm handing it in now is because last year it went nowhere. Okay, this is my resume. Everybody has a, a, a reason. 
Okay, adopted new rules. New Jersey Association, 526, 8.8, 526, 8.14, has to do with meetings, votings, appointments, fair American values. Nobody gets appointed in the United States. You get voted in. Even if there's not an opposing candidate, there is an election, and you get voted in.
year, starting this year, I know you don't like the law, but they can find the association and the directors individually. Michael, please tell me. All right, is everybody pleased to Oh, what's going on? Okay, I'm sorry. There's an issue I just had to deal with the police department. Um, I'd like to try to move along a little bit. Uh, this has to be attended to. We should say it's more than the school community. Not at the meeting. How do you say it? But right now, but you can just keep it for a couple of minutes. I'm going to have to, either someone else will take care of the meeting, but I'm going to have to address this with the police department. Okay. Oh. Last week I had a yellow. Excuse me, if you're talking, they're not with that. She's. <coughs> All I would like to say is that last month I had asked you why the dues went up. And you, why the, the dues went up. Why our dues went up. And your explanation was that you opened the pool last year in March. No, you mean because, because you came up and you said, why was the. We. But we have, you said, we didn't open the pool last year, we shouldn't have opened the pool last year, and why did the dues go up? And I said to you, the, the pools, you see, that was all convoluted in one, in one sentence. You mentioned the pools, and I said to you, we did open the pools last year. And you said to me, well, why would you open the pools when nobody else opened the pools? We started earlier, so I told you the pool, you specifically said about the pool um, budget, that there shouldn't have been anything with the pool budget. I said the pool budget, but we can, we can bypass that. We did open the pools, we used a lot of the budget. When you open the pools, that's when you use most of the budget for the pools, okay? We went beyond the pools, and then you said, we talked about other things, and I said to you, we had $87,000 worth of work that we had to do in the other uh, in the other buildings. We, we have to take into consideration, and I did bring that up, we have to take into consideration the work that we have to do, the, the all of the improvements that we have to have over there, because of what we did in here. There's code laws that we have to follow and we have to do them. And that's why we put the budget up. And I did say that. And I actually, can, I probably can go back and get my notes from last month that I did talk about that. Now, you might have heard about the pool, but you didn't hear the rest of it. All I wanted to say was that I thought it was ridiculous you said when this, we were in the COVID and you knew that it was not going to get Annika, you said it last month, you said it last month at the meeting, and you said it also at the lake. At the because because so somebody said, asked why the dues went up, and you said all this other stuff, and last month you said, well, because of the pool. No, Another you thing is, you there asked, is no Wi-Fi, it is locked. We need a password to get into the Wi-Fi. We've discussed it, Annika. I mean, you, you got the answer last month. You asked me why we opened the pool. Now you're supposed to argue with the same thing. You're all very defensive. It's not the way to run meetings. Susan DeMaria, 248 Barbados. Do I have to sign in again? I have a question. What? I'm here since 2008. I have attended meetings since 2009, so I can run for the board. Um, but am I wrong that back in the day before 2020, wasn't the entire 12 months of the meetings published in the paper? The problem is, most of this community do not read the paper. They do not open it. And there's a lot of information in it. 
And then all of a sudden they hear about it from somebody else. And they're right here doing this. That's number one. Number two, I am an owner. I do not want tenants voting. I know some of the tenants. Yes, there are tenants who are living here for a number of years. But I also know tenants who we would not like to be living here a number of years. I have a girlfriend who was robbed by her next door neighbor who was a tenant. And yes, there were some undesirable owners here too, but that's beside the fact. No. There's good and bad in all people. Exactly. Susan and uh, I just we never say, had. I we never had a great job. Okay, we can't both talk. I'm sorry. Well, we, the the board that. never held 12 share owners meetings no. in a one year period. No. We always held 10. Yes. There were two months that there were no meetings, and yes. there were also two months that were held in the evening. Yes. The evening meetings, if 50 people showed up, and that I, was a lot. I agree and we with need 100 to have a quorum. I agree so with these I night meetings, those. the night meetings that we had with 50 people, we couldn't vote on anything. We couldn't discuss anything, really. It was a useless meeting. Exactly. There was 50 people. It was a waste of everybody's time. I was at all those meetings, and yes, that's the so paper to I. say the two months that there were no meetings, and it didn't give you the times and the dates of those meetings, and I was at those 7 o'clock meetings, and it was like a ghost town. So you can't please everybody. And like I said, I'm tired of listening to this. I really am. This went on last month, it's going on this month. If you don't like what the board is doing, you did the right thing. Those of you who turned in your resumes, okay. You made your points. Can we go home now? Thank you. On the back. Yeah. 
right to do it, but unfortunately you're showing people that feed the deer that bring them here. You're not allowed to act on your own and go with nature. We've got so many people that feed the deer and just bring them. And unfortunately, yes, but unfortunately we don't have any authority over that. So, that I feel unsafe in my backyard with my dog and my children when I do have things that I think that I should be able to put a fence in my backyard so I feel safe there. I don't feel safe in my, in my property. I don't. I just don't think that's acceptable for somebody to have to always be looking like a deer. They're charging. I understand that they got babies. But I'm not doing anything. I understood, but I just want to try to simplify a little bit. If more people thought like that and enhance and put the fence around their property, grass companies will be able to go from one place to another. That's one reason. That's impossible. The logistics that they need. Everybody complains about the grass now. If there were fences around everybody's property, I think we'd have a lot more complaints. I will mow my own lawn. If I don't allow them to put fences in my backyard, I will take care of my own lawn. Can't go on that. You can't, we can't, you can't what they're gonna say. fence in your whole you yard. You gotta, you, they I want to live in this community safely, and I don't feel safe. Well, you can, you can put a fence around your back patio. Um, and as far as the animals, we, we don't have the authority to do any kind of animal control. We have animal control here. Unfortunately, we... We can't do it. Uh, you know, it's, Could you meet the I, animal, animal control and try to do something about this? Or how about everybody who sees the yeah. How about everybody who sees somebody feeding the deer? Fill out a complaint form. Absolutely. We get complaint forms about that. And we tell them, and take a picture. Sure. If they don't do it, you go after them. So they have to sign them up. Please, you're at, please come. Come here. Be fast to come to the Okay. If Here's what, here's what happens. Somebody will write in a little note and say, they'll comp write a complaint. So and so, my, my next door neighbor is feeding the animals. So we send a letter. You cannot feed the animals. Next time you get, we'll, we'll, you will get a fine. We'll, the fine will start on a day. That person pulls up and says, I never, I don't feed the animals. Prove it. So, I always tell everybody, if something can't be, if we can't prove it, you know it, you see it, you take a picture of it. If you take a picture of it, then we send the photo with the letter and say, this is what we have, we, you have been feeding the animals, and now we will start the fine. That usually stops them. Well, I'm still talking, so you will show me the respect, please, because I sat there and showed you guys, even though you don't agree, which I think the board should agree on everything together, and that the disturbance in the audience where they don't have the courtesy to sit there quietly either, so that's a little upsetting. I understand they're talking now because they're just inconsiderate, but also I want to be on the record that I am a homeowner and I do not approve of renters having a say in how Thank you. Um, I think there was one other thing. Oh, I can't remember. But okay, I'll, I'll stop there. Oh, the um, the meetings, one o'clock. I work. Okay, I took off today, so I could be here. I can't take off days, at, you know, to, to be at this meeting. I moved to either make it six o'clock, somewhere where, okay, some of these people are a little older. Maybe they're settling in by seven. I don't know. Maybe try six. But one o'clock, a lot of us work, and we cannot be here. We'll take that into consideration. I promise, it's like I promise you that. All right. Can we have it? Come, please. Thank you. Hi, I'm Mrs. Pat Riley. I live in 440 Jamaica. I've been here less than a year. Okay. And I just have a question. This is my first 4th of July year. And I was very surprised that I had to. Look, have some courtesy. The woman is speaking. A lot of sub talking. Just hold it down. And I was kind of, I was surprised that there were a lot of fireworks going on. I, I thought at first it was right outside my street, um, right outside my house. And I was just wondering if fireworks are outlawed in, in the community. I wasn't sure. I, I know this is about it, but I wasn't sure of the community last night. Okay. I just wasn't sure because I'm, I'm concerned about fires. That's why. Okay. I just didn't know. Yeah, we don't. There's no 
something about fireworks. Okay, okay. I wasn't sure. Thank, Thank you. you. All right, Sharon. Sharon Pino, 23 in Baco Street. It started last year with you guys closing the kitchen. This is our facility. As of July 5th, I know it was in the paper that the building was going to be closed. There were two people here with me that needed ice for their insulin. The building was locked. We could not even get ice. I was told to put their insulin in the public refrigerator and somebody would get it when they needed it. I really think it's very, very poor judgment that you locked the building up. We couldn't even enter to get ice or anything. Uh, Sharon, every, if you remember every holiday, when it's at every union holiday, the building is closed. We, leave, we have somebody come in for the pools, but the buildings are closed, I, both buildings. I so understand, Shannon came, and I asked him to go inside, and he said he was following board directions by not going inside to get ice. Well, then I suggest you put an ice machine and a water fountain on the exterior of the building. There is a water fountain, isn't there? Yes. yes. I want to ask you something. Yeah. You're saying that Shannon told you the board told him not to get up there. You can't get ice. He used that phrase. Yes, That's there. And there was other, there was other people there. We, we have never told anybody they can't have ice. And then not so. He's saying he didn't want to get fired. The building was closed. I know that's right. But he has keys. He has access. He's not supposed to open the building, Sharon. All I said to him was there are two people here that need ice for their insulin. His reply was, give it to me, I'll put it in the fridge. Did they have a nice pack that they put that ran out? No, they did. They had their coolers expecting to put ice in it. Oh, they didn't go in it. Okay, sorry. And all I'm asking is, this is our facility. Please let us have access. Put an ice machine or a better water fountain outside. But there is a water fountain. Yes, there is. Yes, there is. It's a little water fountain. Yes. But the new one inside. Is it the new one that has Correct. the water fountain? Yes. Yes. Because there's 36, 38 homes, yes. the you have? Consider the second company. Yes. We have considered that. If no, I mean, split the contract. Yes. Oh. yes. We, we, we have. have. And just so you know, a little further to, to embellish, this past week, we brought the new contractors in and explained that we're getting too many complaints and something had to be done. At that meeting, they decided that they're gonna add another crew and go from a four day work week to a five day. And we're hoping that that does improve the situation. If it doesn't, then we're looking at a second. Yeah, we'll figure something out that we will hire a second. That's right. And we already right. have the outlay. The logistics of it is already there. I just want to throw that out You got okay. it. Mr. Pomponio, please, and then we're gonna to have to adjourn this meeting. Uh, just a suggestion uh, about the deer, what you said about the deer. Can you put that in the newsletter, put it up by the clubhouses about what you said, an email address, attach your photo? Because people don't know how to do that. Ask Sharon. Sharon told me about a, 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 some people who were, who were parking on their lawns. No, 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 no you're, missing, you're missing my point. Right, no. I want you to let, the, not this public, this public knows, but the rest of the 3,500 homes, people don't know how to do that. As soon as somebody sends me, as soon as somebody not, sends me not, a complaint, but yeah. they won't know to take the picture. I uh, listen. We, t we I call them. But why can't you put it in the newsletter? That's that's fine. Hold on. Put it in the newsletter. Put it in the newsletter. You made a suggestion. It's a good suggestion. We're gonna bring it in. And the other thing about the insulin, insulin, about the insulin, we have no. No, no, no. It seems to me that we're having like candidates for partying today. Okay. You know, I mean, I well, no, we have suggestions. Point. Sure. You about the point. insulin. Yes. You have a first aid tent there. I don't right. think somebody would think to bring enough ice and then worry about it. Do you I don't know. know. Or do you not know? Not not know. know. If I went somewhere, I would have enough ice to basically not depend on someone else. Do you you know. Know. We have a refrigerator outside. We. So then why wasn't that? Oh, it was not that house. They didn't want to use it. Guys, we weren't there. That means those people didn't want to use it. All right, so we move this on. Anybody else? Otherwise, we're adjourning.
They will offer to buy the mixed in. They will offer I'm going to take one of the 